Good morning, my fellow fair and beautiful people. <laughs> yeah, it's your boy. I know I'm probably like scream. Oh, I forgot that my headphones is not plugged into my. <laughs> I forgot. I can. I'm seeing in the corner of my eye that my phone is plugged in. And then I, I remember I have my headphones, like half of it, like the one with the mic is in my ear still because I could feel it on my chest and being restricted because of my seatbelt. And I, and I completely forgot that I don't have it plugged in. So I'm like, oh man, I'm in here screaming in their ear. Screaming in their ear. <laughs> but yeah, I am uh, heading to church right now. It's 10.56 a.m. This is a guilty confession. I'm not a Catholic. I'm a non-denomination Christian where the service is at 11 o'clock. So I have like four minutes and I'm about 10 minutes away. <laughs> uh, I, God, I wish that I could get into the whole praise and worship side and I just can't, I can't stand to stand for that long. And man, when I listen to music, like majority of the music that I listen to is Christian hip hop, Lecrae, Trip Lee, uh, um, NF, oh my gosh, Tadi Tadishi, Tadi uh, there's so many of them. But doing the whole like, Come rescue me, hug your neighbors. Like I love, I, I love God. I love everything about God. I love God's sense of humor. I love God's decisive action. I love everything about God. But the songs that he puts on his children's lips I'll be the one that's the only one in service going, mm. like when everyone else is going and rocking side to side, hugging their neighbor. I'll be like, oh, what? Like a, like a bobblehead. <laughs> and be like, what the heck? Is he listening to the same thing? Nope. I'm listening to NF. I got my headphones all like hidden. <laughs> Oh man, nah, but the reason why I'm making this video is because I realized that the video that I made on Friday did not upload. I was checking it this morning to see like what the analytics were and I'm like, where's the video at? Droop dog, what's up, man? You slipping? And be like, yep. I'm slipping. I accidentally uh, deleted. Oh, actually, I purposefully deleted every single video and photo that was on my my phone. I transferred it to my portable hard drive because I got that that out of out of space, out of memory notification, and I realized I used up my entire phone capacity. So I needed to get rid of stuff. <laughs> And one of those uh, videos was the video that I uploaded, well, that I was in the middle of uploading on Friday. So my apologies to you, young sirs and ma'ams of the world. But yeah, I'm going to church and Stupendous and Bag of Soup, they unconsciously are forcing me to do this. Yes. Because you know, they both are big in their churches. Not like they take up big space. Like they don't take up lots of space. They're, <laughs> why am I always doing that? They're doing a lot of things with their churches. And I used to do a lot of things with my churches and I got out of it, out of the routine. I, I became undisciplined y'all. I'm so excited because Sports Authority is now a ghost town. They sold Sports Authority. Actually, no, they filed for bankruptcy because they weren't getting enough business. And rightfully so, they were overpriced and they didn't have enough stuff. 
But what we would do is we would roll up in them, be like, oh, I like what you got. Click, click, and go to Amazon. Yep. That's what the, that's what's happening in the brick and mortar businesses like that. And then right down the street, probably about a mile where I'm going right now, is not only where the church house is, but it's also where Dick's Sporting Goods is. Where they have a plethora of opportunities to shop around. Click and then go to Amazon. <laughs> nah, I actually get the stuff from Dick's because that's just easier. And I don't go there that often, so it's not even worth me going into like set snap. Boom, get out there. Anyway, um, the one thing that I wanted to talk about quickly is the update we haven't gotten yet on iOS where we are supposed to be getting the buff to the uh, storm and the gust. Absolutely love that idea because the storm and gust are starting to become my favorite go-to bots on my Griffin. And then the storm with the uh, on the Inquisitor with the thunder. Well, that's a badass bot right there, man. My, my storms are only level nine and my thunder is level 10. I stopped upgrading my thunders right when they got a, uh, whatever they call it. Yeah, that's where Dix is. You see Dix? Opening soon. They need to remove that sign because the grand opening was Friday and it is Sunday. So they need to change it on God's day. <laughs> uh, and the workers are like, I'm taking a Sabbath. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Um, Oh, why do I even have these on my head? They're ambers. I just had to use them when I got out the door. They're like constricting my head. They're making me feel like my head is being squoze. Um, the mullet was getting is getting a buff. Not the mullet T. The mullet singular. Not the mullet plural. Which I think is a bunch of ballyhoo. It's ridiculous. Why are you going to... When are you, why are you going to buff the dang light one? No one used light weapons. The game, the metadata, whatever they call it. I don't even know what the heck that means, meta. But the game does not like light weapons. Like take, for instance, the light ma the magnums. They don't do nothing. I'd rather have, I'd rather put the, the magnums on a dang bot that I don't use. And then keep it in my hanger as a, an ornament. An ornament on a tree. Dang, Mac, light, no medium, updating sons of guns. So the gust, ooh, I found a nice parking spot. The gust, the storm, they don't know what the redeemer's numbers are gonna be yet. That needs to get a buff. That thing, that thing's a beast, but it's like, vroom, vroom. read a magazine. Oh, oh. Vroom, vroom. Uh, turn the page. Ooh, nice picture. Voom, voom. Really? Really? You think that's wise? Hell no, it's not wise. Because wait, wait, most of the time you're going to see them on a dang, uh, uh, what do they call those, uh, carnages, and they're going to peep out, hit on their boost, run, huh, huh, and voom, voom. And then they're like, oh man, I don't have enough, I don't have enough time I don't have enough like short distance between each round, so I've got I gotta turn around and go back to cover. And by that time you get zapped in the hind end with a dang Zeus Fury and then a Treb Fury, and then you get finished off with a dang uh, uh shock train. One shock train. Hell no, nah, man, you need to you need to buff up the speed and the damage. And you see the ragoons? The ragoons. The dragoons? Heck no, man. That's what they should call that dang weapon a, a ragoon. Because when you get hit, you look like a damn raccoon that's been out in the rain and got zapped by lightning. Looking like a a, a, a chronic beachgoer. Static electricity and stuff. And that's all represented by your health bar going. Whew. And that's like, this, like productivity in life go. Whew. <laughs> oh man 
And then the other ones was, um, um, they weren't going to say anything about any of the bots. The shock train was going to get a nerf. That thing needs to be deleted from the game. I don't care what y'all say. And the ones that are defending it have a shock train. The ones that don't have it, like, amen. We in church house right now. Um, the scourge. The scourge is getting a buff. But it's doing... At point blank range, only 170% more of what the damage is. But it's going up to 250. 250%. Which I think is good. It needs to, because it's like one of those weapons that, like the like the Tempest, it promotes um, brawling, whereas the Shock Train promotes camping. Five hundred meter camper, and then you got the Dragoon. I'm gonna call it the Dragoon for now on. I don't even know why, but it sounds better than a Ragoon. No, that's what the name is, Dragoon. I'm gonna call it a Ragoon. Why you guy guy guys be messing with me? Tripping. Man, I gotta go. I'm sitting in the parking lot. It's 11:06. Hopefully, I I walk in right as the tithing is done. <laughs> I know Jordan. I know bag of soup, and uh, and Stu is like, I told you this dude was crazy. Crazy, crazy. He's all crazy all over the place. He's crazy in the morning. He's crazy in the evening and afternoons. It's just crazy all around. He does look like a ragoon. 